So for today's Python music short, I thought I'd talk about isorhythm. What you're hearing right now is some two-part isorhythmic music. You can hear the kind of common set of rhythms and pitches, but there's a lot of variety to it too. So what is isorhythm? Well, isorhythm, from the Greek for the same rhythm, is a musical technique using a repeated rhythmic pattern called a teleia in at least one voice part throughout a composition. Teleia are typically applied to one or more melodic patterns or pitches called colores, which may be the same or different length from the teleia. So that's pretty clear. Just kidding. So isorhythm is probably best explained through an example. So here's an example of an isorhythm. Now, if you remember the Wikipedia article, isorhythm meant same rhythm, and you can see this is the same rhythm over and over and over. But it's also the same sequence of pitches, which is the other aspect of isorhythm. The thing that's interesting is that the length of the rhythm and the length of the pitches is different. In this case, the sequence of pitches is six notes long and the rhythm is five notes long. And as a result, the whole thing doesn't repeat until the least common multiple of six and five, which is 30, all the way down here. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to get a sense for the musical value of isorhythm. Um, let's take a look at a few simple examples here. So um, what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use, of course, the scamp libraries. And from the iter tools library, I'm gonna import the cycle function. So to start with, if we have a list of numbers, 4x in 2, 7, 4, we print those numbers. It's just going to print them, of course, one time, because it's a limited list. What's great about the cycle object is if we say 4x in cycle 2, 7, 4, it's just going to keep looping through this list over and over and over and over, as you can see. Now, where we start getting into isorhythm territory is if we combine two cycles with a different number of items in them. So maybe you've seen this before in Python, the zip function that lets you go through two kind of iterators simultaneously kind of interleaving the results. In this case, I'm gonna to zip together a cycle of two, seven, four, and a cycle of 30, 20, 10, 100, 200. And each time X and Y are gonna pull one value from this cycle and one value from this cycle. And if we print X and Y, this is what happens. So notice on the left, we're cycling 274, 274. And on the right, we're cycling 30, 20, 10, 100, 200, 30, 20, 10, 100, 200. And those cycles are out of phase with one another. A great recipe for interesting isorhythmic music. Okay, so let's actually do the musical part now. We create a session, we create an oboe, and then we're gonna loop through a zipped pair of cycles. One is gonna be a list of pitches, and one is gonna be a list of durations. And notice that there are seven pitches and five durations. So we're gonna get this kind of phasing effect as they go through their cycle. The pitch variable is always gonna get the next number from the pitch cycle. The duration variable is always gonna get the next number from the duration cycle. And each time we're just gonna have the oboe play a note of the given pitch with the given duration. One quick note here, um, none as a pitch just causes it to rest. So if you play a note with none as a pitch, it'll be a rest. And you'll hear the rest in this example here. So there you go, there's some isorhythmic music with just a couple lines of code, thanks to ITERTOOL's cycle function. Before we go on, I just want to let you know that I'm teaching a beginner workshop on computer-assisted music in Python starting this weekend. So check the link up here or in the description. Lastly, uh, the example I played for you at the beginning is this one right here, where I set two isorhythmic processes to go at the same time. I did this by first defining a function called doIsorhythm that takes an instrument, a color, which is the sequence of pitches, uh, a talea, which is a se sequence of rhythms, and I even included a third sequence, which I called the voluminor, that's not a normal term, um, which is the sequence of volumes. And the function's simple, it's just for pitch, volume, duration in zipping together three cycles, the cycle of pitches, the color, the cycle of volumes, voluminor, and the cycle of rhythms, the talea. And for each trio of numbers we pair, we play a note of that given length. So all I do here is I create an oboe part and a clarinet part, and then I fork them so that they happen simultaneously. And so I'm forking the function do isorhythm, and I'm passing it arguments. The first one, I'm giving it an oboe for the instrument, and this pitch sequence, this rhythm sequence, and this volume sequence. 
For the second one, I'm giving it the clarinet as the instrument, this pitch sequence, this rhythm sequence, and this volume sequence. And then Wait Forever keeps the script alive so that these parallel processes can continue to go. Let's take one more listen to it. So I don't know about you, but I, I find this music really quite attractive. I think the reason is that isorhythmic music strikes a really good balance between consistency and variety, right? By using the same sequence of pitches and rhythms over and over, we get this kind of consistency. But because those sequences don't line up and they phase with one another, you're always listening to something slightly different than you were listening to before. Isorhythm is a great tool to have in your algorithmic toolbox. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try any of this for yourself, I've put links to the code in the description. Also, if you get a lot out of these videos and want to support my work on Scamp, consider becoming a patron. It really means a lot to me, and your membership also comes with bonuses, like early ad-free access to videos, algorithmically generated scores and MIDI files, and perhaps the occasional experimental music application. Finally, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, or get involved in a local volunteer organization.